and welcome to Poptography. Today, we're going over our top 10 Star Wars Funko Pops for 2023. So, without wasting any time, let's jump right into this. So, the very first one we have is Young Leia 659, which was the uh, Summer Convention Shared 2023 exclusive. This one was absolutely awesome. Just love all the details in this one. Her holding Lola um, with that iconic kind of outfit that she had for a good portion of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Um, her hair reminiscent of what we see later in future Leia. Um, just a really great pop all around. Really enjoyed this one. That's why this one made number 10. For our next, we have none other for number nine than the Darth Vader 637. So this one was very excited to eventually get. Um, as many of you who tune into the channel and watch some of my friends out there on social media, um, you might have seen how I created my own and it was almost a year later that we finally got this. And even when I created my own, it took time and I wasted a few months um, and was under the gun because I thought, oh, I want to get mine done before Funko did. It never happened. But look at this Funko Pop. Still a very good one. I would have liked it to have been a little bit better. And the reason I say that is because some of these future sculpts that we've seen since Return of the Jedi and stuff just even had more detail than this. This was great pop, one that everyone wanted, that iconic scene from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, as you can see, Vader's mask is cracked. It's got all that battle damage. But with all the details missing that I thought, like we could have had his uh, chest plate a little busted up, things like that. Maybe a slash mark into the back of his cape. Um, that we saw Obi-Wan deliver. So little little details like that that I think we see further now in some of the newer Funko Pop sculpts that we've been seeing. So that's just my opinion. And that's why he only made number nine. A fairly newer one to the collection is uh, this Grogu, uh, which is in his pram, which is Grogu number 664. Um, this one, just love this one. Of I know we've seen this character quite a few times in Funko form. Um, and there's another new one coming out, him with the uh, Azalean Droid Smith. But this one, I think right now, um, I know there's an, uh, one or two others that I really liked of Grogu, but I really just love this one of him in the pram. Uh, I think it, the detail on this is so good. Um, just everything about it, you, you get to see him, like he's kind of using the force, he's doing something, he's got that hand motion. You can kind of see into the pram itself. It even has the detail on the back of it. Um, Again, this this Grogu, um, one of my favorites now of the Grogu, of any of the Grogu's. So this is why this one made none other than number eight in my selections. Number seven is one that we've all been talking about how we wanted more clone troopers. Well, we got a lot of great clone troopers, but this is one I think I had I had to have, and I bought two of these. Now this, uh, if you got it uh, through the states. Uh, United States, you probably went through Books A Million, the BAM uh, exclusive. Uh, I actually went through Ozzy's Collectible and got mine, and I got two of these things. But the 332nd Company Trooper, absolutely stunning Funko Pop. I really like this one. Um, a lot of the different ones we had coming from the gaming greats that GameStop have have been excellent. Just love it. And, you know, my buddy Will did a, his top five, and as he said, Whatever you've been doing, keep going in that direction because they've been knocking them out of the park. Um, but besides those clone troopers, we got this clone trooper. And one of the things I thought was really nice is not only do you got that awesome Ahsoka painted helmet, but then you have him in this really cool running pose. Like it actually dictates motion more than many of the other Star Wars Funko Pops. So um, the fact that it was a clone trooper, it was an Ahsoka 332nd company trooper, and the way this one was like, you know, sculpted, this had to make uh, the list. So that's why it came in at number seven. Now, <clears throat> at number six, how to get this bad boy up there? Our favorite murder droid, C110P Chopper, number 654 from that Ahsoka Wave. Um, what can I say? We always say Funko does droids and creatures and aliens so very well. And it absolutely shows in this version of uh, Chopper. Now, what's really different is the way this one bobbled compared to the original Chopper we got. 
um, but that one does fit more with the cartoon look that we had of Chopper, and this one really sells that live action. He's very weathered, very good looking Funko Pop, um, has that third wheel, kind of, you know, that little grocery cart kind of wheel in the front. Love it. All the detail on this one, much cooler, much cooler. Um, and again, if you're going to do a droid, you have to do a favorite murder droid chopper. So definitely glad to have this in the collection and a great looking pop overall of all the droids that we got this year. Definitely. Now, Ned B almost was a contender, but I still think chopper is going to, you know, kind of edge him out. So next on my list for number five, I went with Darth Maul number 647 which was at a fall uh, convention exclusive. It was like a New York Comic Con chair exclusive. This one I had to get. Um, now, again, why did this mall get in there and other pops didn't? Um, or because we had some two packs, things like that. The reason I really like this one, not just because it was a con exclusive or a share exclusive, but more for the fact that the legs on this with the details, I thought was really cool. So we got a Clone Wars version of Maul first. Then we get these great detailed metallic kind of talon legs. And when you look at this, it, you, you can't say it's not one of the best that we've got. Again, love to get a Maul. I have, that just gives me an excuse to get a new Funko Pop every year, if not twice a year, if that's how many they release. But this one, one you, you don't want to miss. You definitely want to have this one in collection. Uh, this is 647, awesome. Just an awesome Funko Pop. Uh, very excited to have added this to the collection this year, that's for sure. Now, for my number four, um, number 660, Boba Fett, which is that retro reimagined line uh, for part of the Disney 100. Now, I really enjoyed the retro series. Really, really enjoyed that. That was one of my favorites to photograph. I think I still have two more to photograph in that uh, collection and I would have photographed them all. Um, but this guy immediately made it onto the set this year. Um, really thought this was really cool. So things that they did different on this pop that I really liked um, and probably why it made the, you know, number four in my spot. Um, one, I, I really like that retro series a lot. This one also had kind of what we see in that more clear acrylic um, with the fire and, and the jet blasters coming from the jet pack with the smoke and everything. Love that. Now, true to this style, it wasn't clear. So when I went to photograph, I couldn't really under light it and get all that really cool color out of it, the uh, acrylic itself. But this really had that comic book feel. It did have a more retro reimagined in the pastel kind of look. Um, loved all that. Now, I'm not an inbox collector typically, so um, I wouldn't have really cared um, to keep this box if I wasn't, uh, if, or if I was a box collector. Um, I just keep it in here at this point, really just to keep it from uh, getting dusty and keeping it protected. But um, don't care for the packaging on this pop whatsoever. Um, but this retro reimagined definitely had to make the cut. Really great looking Funko Pop. Um, really love the color. Now, for my number three of my top 10, uh, I think this might surprise a lot of people, but I think this, because of what happened to this character, this Funko Pop went a little less, uh, I would say, recognized, went a little more under the radar, but none other than Maroc from the Ahsoka series. Um, what is it? Number 651. That's what I was looking for. I couldn't remember the number off the top of my head. Uh, but Maroc 651. Look at this Funko Pop. So much going on here. And this is why he made number three. And that Vader with the battle damage was back at number nine even. Um, all right. So let's just start with the pop, the sculpt itself. When you look at this pop it, with that, you know, half cape kind of thing that he has going blowing in the wind you still get the detail of his arm under it you get this beautiful double-bladed inquisitor lightsaber going on and even the acrylic done and the plastics used for that lightsaber is so nice it's very rigid um, so it's not really bending or anything like that that we've seen a lot of them in the past um, but very detailed in the hilt as well as the outfit and helmet um, it has that really kind of 
uh, brushed aluminum, but it has a little tanner color to it. It has rust. It has shadows in those areas. It's got the crud. It's a, I mean, it's really great weathered. Uh, it, 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 great job on this, absolutely. This almost could have taken in a number one spot. It really could have, um, but you'll see why it didn't. The next probably needs no introduction, but I know he didn't make number one, but my number two was having Grand Admiral Thrawn, number 678. Um, was very excited to finally have this in my collection. Um, I did not get the 2018 exclusive, so I still would like to get that, but I'm just as happy with this one. Um, I really, really love this one. One of the reasons that this made my top 10 is one, I needed a Thrawn. I wanted a Thrawn, had to have a Thrawn. Like many of you, when this came out, you jumped on it. Um, the other reason is because, look at the sculpt on this, as simple as it is, he's not really got the hero pose, he's got his arms crossed, kind of cool, kind of that throng, kind of menacing, thinking, uh, deliberating with purpose, um, but you've got the, the, the blue hair being sculpted back, but it's really the face sculpt on this one. The red eyes immediately pop out off that blue skin tone face, but what I really like are the cheekbones are really cut out here and the brow furrowed. Very awesome in this sculpt. I really, really enjoy that. So again, one of my favorite pops from 2023 and it's probably most of yours. Um, if you've been collecting these Star Wars Funko Pops, you knew how important it is to get a Thrawn in your collection if you haven't had one prior. For my number one, I had to go with this. Um, now, let me have a little disclaimer. When I chose all these Funkos uh, to put in my top 10, I actually did consider a lot of others. Like I had mentioned earlier, Ned B almost made the cut in the droids. Um, there were a few others that almost made the cut, like one, of the, one or two of the Ahsoka Pops herself. Uh, Harrison Dula was up there. Um, some of our uh, earlier um, two packs, you know, as well as even the Mandalorian and Grogu on the speeder bike. But even all those paled in comparison to this one that we got in 2023. So without further ado, my number one pick was number 612 from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi is none other than the Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker scene uh, movie moment. But I had to add my Emperor because the way this was created and designed, if you pop the Emperor off that base, he fits perfectly in the scene. And you just can't have the scene with the two of them without that. So I'm counting that because I know most of you did this. I know you did. If you got this, you definitely got him. I mean, you either kept him on the base or you popped him off, but you definitely added him to this. So to me, this is these, th this, these two pops, I should say, um, even though there's actually three in, in it on all together, is definitely the number one. Look at the detail on this. So you've got the whole window, even the back of it. Like if you're looking at it from the back, you've got that, you know, design. But the Emperor fits on there nicely. So if you do pop them off the stand, like I have, it looks excellent without that. You've got Vader and Luke facing off right in front of them. Look at that. That's just phenomenal. Um, and it, it's a, it's one of the most iconic movie moments in Star Wars with this last final face-off between Vader, him, and the Emperor. So I really love this scene. Uh, really glad that we got that. Uh, that's one of the 40th anniversary. So I'm excited for the next Star Wars anniversary to see if we get something as cool as that from Funko. But well, that's my top 10 Star Wars Funko Pops for 2023. I hope you enjoyed my selections. I'm curious to hear what your selections might have been. And if you've done one, please definitely drop a comment, paste that link in there. I'm very curious to see yours as well. So if you enjoyed this kind of content today, please hit the like, definitely hit the subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Poptography. Until then, may the force be with you.